Hello and welcome to the SBR Show YouTube channel. Welcome to Monday night in Grant's Pain Cave. We've got Jenna here. Uh, I'm just going to talk you through uh, uh, my first week of Ironman training. So I'm classing this as the first week of training. Uh, so first things on a Monday, we come over to Fitness Granted. We do some strength and conditioning. Jenna starts on the rower. I start on the spin bike. So yeah, let's get on. Let's do a sick montage. See us on this and you'll see us all sweat at the end of it. Yeah, not going to talk for it. So I'm just going to talk you through each night of my week. Uh, just, I'm not coached. I haven't got a coach. So this is just all made up in my head. Right, let's go. There we have it, Monday night, strength and conditioning done. Uh, we're sat in the car now. Uh, I was, I'd said I'm not going to do the outro in there because I wanted to slag off Dave and say how much I hate him. Hate him. Enjoy it? No, no, yeah. I did. Well, proper, look, proper hard uh, graft, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I literally can't feel my arms anymore. But good like for us. Jelly. Yeah, it's just horrible, horrible. So, yeah, I'm going to leave Monday there. Uh, yeah, and we'll I go on to really Tuesday. I do It's annoying, isn't it? I yeah, it is annoying it. that we enjoy it. But yeah, it's hopefully going to help me towards Iron Man and keep me injury free. So yeah, let's get home, have something to eat, and then see you on Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday night. Uh, instead of Grant's garage, we're now in my garage. Uh, I've been uh, at work all day, uh, so I do have a full-time job. So yeah, obviously training has to work around that. So we're now on Tuesday evening. Uh, it's absolutely lashing it down outside. Uh, so the whole of the UK is now just underwater, I think. Uh, it's non-stop raining and wind. So now, obviously, it's time to start swifting, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, the, the evening rides in the week have gone out the window now. So now it's time to just start, yeah, settling down, doing the rides on Zwift. My plan for this evening uh, is my first indoor ride. I did a, a small ride last week just to get the, the Zwift set up. Uh, but now we're set up, the plan is 45 minutes, super easy. Uh, I would probably just join one of the, the pacer group rides, like 1.8 watts per kilo, nice and easy. Uh, you can see here my setup. So we've got the Canyon Speed Max on there with the TV there, fan behind it. I've got a little heater there for when it gets stupidly cold. Uh, and then after I'm done, then yeah, one of Jenna's bikes then will go on the trainer. Uh, as Jenna is training for her super sprint triathlon so she's going to do a session tonight as well so yeah it's all super easy especially the first few months we're just in a build phase we're just picking things up uh, so yeah let's get on with it 45 minutes nice and easy Well, there we have it. Uh, if you're watching my videos before, you'll know I sweat thinking about exercise. So that was 45 minutes, really quite easy, but I'm dripping in sweat because Zwift is hard. Uh, yeah, really easy. Uh, yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, let me know whether it's sort of you're an indoor rider or an outdoor rider. Uh, yeah, I find Zwift very, very handy for certain things, uh, especially like midweek rides like this, but on a weekend, 
sort of even if the weather's awful I'll try and get out if I can yeah let me know what how you get on yeah I find Zwift uh, quite dull I find it hard work I don't know how anyone does sort of three or four hours I think we are steaming up here a bit so apologies uh, yeah, I don't know how anyone does three or four hours on Zwift. It's just uh, mind-numbingly boring. You've got to be a lot stronger in the head than I am. So yeah, uh, stats are probably up already on screen. Uh, I put my training peak score up for you to have a look at, see where we're at. And yeah, that's pretty much Tuesday done. Uh, all I've got to do now is swap the bikes over for Jenna so she can uh, put her bike on there. And yeah, I'm going to go out. I've got to go up to Halfords and get Jenna a new ball for her car because her headlight's gone out, so I'll go and do that. And yeah, Tuesday done, so... On to Wednesday. And welcome to Wednesday. Uh, completely forgot to do a recording today, purely for the fact that I forgot I'm doing a whole week of uh, training. <laughs> but I've done uh, a swim session tonight. I've been to the Coventry Triathletes swim session, so they run on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Uh, yeah, I'll put the stats up on screen of that. Uh, yeah, my plan this winter is to be really consistent and try and do both sessions. So I want to do the Wednesday session and the Sunday session. Uh, my main goal, uh, I, I currently swim in lanes two and three. Uh, my goal over winter is to move back up into lane one. Uh, yeah, you probably see I, I was swimming at like 136 per 100 yards. The front guys in the lane one, they're swimming about 130 per 100 yards. So I'm not a million miles away. And I think if I get on their feet, generally I'll swim on the front of lane two. Uh, so to get on the back of lane three isn't unachievable. But yeah, I really want to work on that. Uh, I'm now back uh, and... Yeah, I'm not preparing dinner. I'm not going to try and claim I'm doing any dinner, but we've got nachos for tea. Jenna's already made the chilli. I've just got to create the cheese, really, so I haven't got much to do. Uh, so, yeah, Wednesday's pretty simple most weeks. Uh, turn up to the tri club, go to the swim session. Uh, tonight was fantastic. We did uh, 400s and 200s moderate, uh, and then we did uh, 100 sprints at the end, which was, yeah, we don't usually do that at the tri club, which is fantastic. Actually put some power into the, to the swimming. So, yeah, really enjoyed tonight's session. Yeah, hot now. Yeah, I've got to get some dinner on because it is getting late. It's not, I don't know if you can see that clock. It's not one o'clock. Uh, the batteries are dying in that. So, yeah, we'll leave Wednesday. Wednesday is nice and simple and I'm going to keep it the same. Wednesdays and Sunday, uh, I might chuck in an extra session every now and again. But yeah, generally it's just going to be two sessions a week. So, yeah, enjoyed it. Job done. It's now Thursday night. Uh, you can probably see I'm sat on my sofa. Uh, tonight, the plan is to do absolutely nothing. Well, not absolutely nothing. If you do this YouTube lark, uh, you need to spend some time editing videos and going through footage you've got. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll show you here. So I'm just, there's oh, all up, there's Mark G on a telly over there. Uh, just editing the video uh, that Jenna made uh, down at Western Supermare. So yeah, spending a bit of time doing that get that together so if you've not seen that video go back and uh, yeah give that a give that a watch so yeah pretty simple tonight just a nice easy rest night edit this video uh, I've got another video in the pipeline as well there's always stuff to edit if you do this YouTube stuff it's a uh, proper art graft the people that put out videos daily I respect you because there's no way I could chuck out videos that quickly I just take far too long uh, to do uh, so yeah one a week is, is about enough for me so yeah pretty simple chill out relax we're going to watch a bit of youtube we're going to upload some youtube videos and that's it we're just gonna oh actually i'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee now and jenna's brought home uh some sort of buffet food from her work and some lovely bits of cake so yeah that's what i'm going to do now so right i'll see you on friday it's now Friday, uh, I'm running super late, so I'm not even gonna do any anything for today till I get back. Uh, I'm on the cross bike, meeting someone, off. Better get going, because yeah, I'm super late, so let's go. So, the said adventure, we went out for a few hours on the cross bike with Penny from You Can Coaching. Uh, I was in a rush, uh, because I finished at 11 a.m. on a Friday, uh, and I went, well, every Friday, and I went for a nap, so. Yeah, I accidentally fell asleep for a bit longer than I anticipated uh, and then was rushing then to try and uh, meet Penny. Yeah, we had a good ride uh, up until a mile away from home and then we got a puncher. So yeah, if you, I'll show you the puncher a lot. There we go, flat as a pancake, look. Completely flat. Uh, I'll put the stats on screen of the ride. Uh, so yeah, it was either push the bike for 
Well, the thing is, it's just over a mile. Uh, either push the bike or spend ages changing a flat. But you know what? I'm just going to push it back because I can't be bothered. So yeah, a good hour. And, I don't know what the time was actually because I didn't look at it. I stopped and stopped my watch. So it's probably about an hour and a half. Proper hard graft. Uh, thank you very much to Penny for taking me on some uh, routes that I've never done. Yeah, and this is Friday, done and dusted. Uh, it's now quarter to five. I'm gonna go and jet wash that now. Uh, and then I'm gonna shower, change, and vegetate on the sofa for the rest of the evening. It's now Saturday. Uh, today uh, would generally be a bit of a, a longer ride on a Saturday, but not today. Today was all about hill climbing. So yeah, I have, I'm have. i gonna do a separate video on this. So. There's going to be a few maybe clips in this, but there's not really going to be too much because I have done a separate video for this. So it's a double hill climb <coughs> over at Burton Dasset and Edge Hill. So yeah, fun climbs. Uh, so yeah, not too much training, not too much riding, but an awful lot of fun with some club mates. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, another job I've been doing today is getting Jenna's race machine. So her Liv Lang Langamat, I think it's called. Uh, getting her race bike ready because tomorrow, Jenny is racing the Super Sprint Triathlon at Stratford. So uh, yeah, getting her back into triathlon, which I'm quite excited about. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty pleased that dragging her to triathlons every single weekend has really paid dividends and she's decided to get back into it. So it's not a first time a triathlon, she has done triathlons, but she's done a couple, of, I think two triathlons before. So she's just doing a Super Sprint tomorrow. Just to tip a dip, dip her toe back in. Uh, and get used to everything again so yeah look how beautiful that bike is and i hope you can see that because that is just one beautiful bike uh luckily i get to ride it while i was just testing a few little things and just sorting the gears out and stuff and it's beautiful to ride uh so yeah not much training today bit of racing probably gonna be the next video after this one so you'll have to wait for that one should be a good one well i think it's gonna be a good one whether you think it's a good one or not so yeah, Saturday done and dusted. Uh, now we're gonna go over to my father-in-law's something to eat, chill out, relax. And then yeah, it's off to uh, race day for Jenna tomorrow. Exciting, I'm on sport duties. So it's now Sunday. Uh, yeah, just this is the, the true reality of training. Today has not gone according to plan. Well, it sort of has gone to plan, but it's gone a bit A-Ride. Uh, so, this morning we went uh, to Jenna's uh, Super Sprint Triathlon. There will be a video coming up about that. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, and then this afternoon we went out for something to eat with Penny and Paul from You Can Coaching, which was very nice, uh, but it meant that I'm so full of food uh, that I've now missed a swim session, Sunday swim session. So yeah, week number one of trying to be consistent, swim twice a week, I swam once a week. but. Hey, that's the reality of it, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, not all week's gonna be perfect. Uh, we've done some training this week, so it's a good start. It's a good base to, to sort of build upon, but it's not perfect. Uh, weeks are gonna be like this. We're gonna have some good weeks, we're gonna have some bad weeks, we're gonna have some weeks where we're gonna do loads of training, some weeks where we're hardly gonna do over training. But this channel is all gonna be about the reality of it. And today, it's just one of them. I had a great morning supporting Jenna. We've been out, we've had a lovely lunch. Uh, I'm now full of food, it's now quite late on. And yeah, just swimming didn't happen. So yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it, I'm not gonna stress about it. It's very early on. We've got a long way to go to Ironman Leeds, so we don't have to worry about this stage. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed me just sharing sort of my first week of training. Uh, let me know, yeah, how your training's been going. going. Has it been going well? Have you started it yet? Uh, yeah, what what are your plans for next year? You've got some big goals next year. I always like, well, I love comments. I absolutely love comments. When you get a comment on your video, it's absolutely fantastic. So that is all done and dusted. First week of training out of the way. I'm now, well, I'll probably say in most of my videos, I'm now gonna go and just slob on the sofa. Uh, and I am gonna go do that because I'm so full of food. Uh, went to the harvester, had something to eat. And yeah, obviously you hit the salad bar at harvester quite hard. So you go for a few bowls of that. So yeah, I'm pretty stuffed and I had a big pudding as well. Paul and Penny did share a pudding and me and Jenna, we don't share puddings. We, ha we have a pudding each. So yeah, maybe that's our mistake. But yeah, now it's time to go and relax on the sofa. Swim session's missed, it's not happening. And then we can build in uh, to a new week next week, uh, which hopefully goes uh, pretty well as well. And well, it's absolutely lashing it down with rain now. It's not gonna get, it, get any better now. We're in 
in sort of autumn, winter. It is what it is, isn't it? So, right, let's leave this video there. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you got this far, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.